welcome to day 29 of Lent. My name is Elsa McDowell and I am the editor of Words of Grace, which is the monthly newsletter that all members of the parish receive who wish to. You can get it in paper form or some people get it online. And if you'd like to see it, you can be sure to ask your parents to show you. Um, I grew up in Grace Church. I've been here all my life and that's a wonderful place to be. My grandmother was the choir director here many, many years ago, and um, this is my home and my family. So I'm glad to be with everybody today. The symbol for today, which is on the front of your activity sheet, is a clock. And today's reading is John 5. 19 through 29, work of the Father and the Son. Jesus responded to the Jewish leaders, I assure you that the Son can't do anything by himself except what he sees the Father doing. Whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he does. He will show him greater works than these so that you will marvel. As the Father raises the dead and gives life, so too does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. The Father does not judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that everyone will honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever doesn't honor the Son doesn't honor the Father who sent him. I assure you that whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and won't come under judgment but has passed from death to life. I assure you that the time is coming and is here when the dead will hear the voice of God's Son and those who hear it will live. Just as the Father has life himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. He, has, he gives the Son authority to judge because he is the human one. Don't be surprised by this because the time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice. Those who did good things will come out into the resurrection of life, and those who did wicked things into the resurrection of judgment. Let us pray. God of mercy, you made us to love you and your creation. You made us in love and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Guide us through the 40 days of Lent and bring us closer to you with prayer, fasting, and giving. Amen. When I read this, when I read this scripture, the word that keeps coming into my mind is love. How very much God loved us, all of his children, that he would send his son to live among us and to die for us. And how very much Jesus loves all of us that he would be he would play that role. And then I thought about how much as a parent I love my children and that God's love is greater than anything we can imagine. And how we're all children and we're all member all of us here at Grace are members of one family and that we are all children of God. So I love each of you too, and hope I get to know each of you when we all get back together after the pandemic.